Kesha. <gasps> I've seen a couple videos on the web, and I'm sure you guys have seen these videos too, about the foods that we've supposedly been eating wrong our entire lives. So I actually wanted to try some of these out and test them to see if they're actually better or worse than how we've actually been eating them. So for our first test trial today, we're gonna be trying oranges. Now, I don't know if y'all knew I could juggle a couple oranges back in my day. I'm not even looking at this. This is how just talented I am. I mean, I mean, look at me, I'm so cool. Right? I didn't almost drop it. So we all know most of the time when we eat oranges, they get everywhere, they make our nails orange, and sometimes they're really hard to peel in general. So I'm gonna peel one orange the way it's suggested to be peeled, and then peel one the same way I've been peeling it my entire life, and see if it's better or worse. So what I've read and what I've seen in videos is that you're supposed to roll the oranges back and forth, so this isn't as quick as you would want it to be, but you're supposed to roll it on all sides, and pretty much make sure that you're getting the whole circumference and sphere of the orange itself. Now, when it comes to doing old things, everyone just assumes like, oh, because it's the old way, it's not the most efficient way. But honestly, if this is the new way, this is taking up more time. I feel like this would be really weird to do in like a restaurant. You're like in the restaurant like, oh yeah, can I get an orange? And you start doing this. Can you imagine the people around you? <laughs> All right, so the first orange has been rolled. So first let's start off with the orange that we would peel the normal way, right? Now, ow, I don't really have nails right now. Sometimes like I usually use like a spoon or something, but I think I can get up in here, you know? as I like hurt myself. So this one's peeling pretty easy. Not too hard, not too hard. Oh, orange peels are flying everywhere. See like, this is just annoying, you know? It's under my nail. My nails are probably gonna smell like orange for the next <laughs> day. This is just taking up so much time. You know what I mean? Look at it, I got half of the orange is done and I'm already regretting it. I got orange peels under my nail. Let's see how effective the new way that we've been doing wrong the whole time is. All right, let's see, let's see, let's see. I don't know, it seems a little more loose. Wait, are we supposed to peel it like the same way? Actually, honestly, truly, this one is coming off 20 times easier. It's coming off in like big chunks too. It's not even coming off as like, as like one uh, like little piece as you can see from there. That, you see this pile? This pile, look at this, two pieces of the whole layer of skin, no juice on my hands. Honestly, I truly think out of all the ways we've been eating oranges wrong, this is one that they have right. I checked that one off my list. You have it, I've been doing it wrong. So now I know, roll the orange first. All right, now it's time to do our next experiment. Hey! So for our next experiment, it's gonna be involving boiled eggs, and if we've been taking them off, the easiest or hardest way. I've read an article online and seen a video as well that it's easier if you put the boiled eggs into a container in itself, close the lid, and then shake it up. I feel like it's gonna end up being like mashed up together, looking like scrambled eggs, looking like they got ran over by a car. But if this is actually an easier way to like take the shells off of eggs, then I think this is useful information for you and for me. So of course we put the eggs in the container, no time to waste. Let's shake it up and hope they don't break. Oh my gosh, y'all. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. Let's see how they look. Oh! 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 That is not a. Oh, this smells. That is not effective. They look like scrambled eggs. I guess this one is the only one that. <laughs> that kind of made it, but. But not really at the expense of losing all the eggs. I mean, this. Who came up with this? Who came up with this? One of the most ineffective ways. So, AKA, this one is a drug bust for me. Mm. No! And I guess I gotta figure out what I gotta eat for dinner now because this was supposed to be my dinner. Next experiment. So our next experiment is gonna be involving Coke itself. All right, this ain't no brand deal. I've heard and I've also seen videos that if you combine milk with Coke, and when you put them together into one substance, the liquids actually separate itself. The milk sinks to the bottom while the Coke then becomes clear and see-through. So I'm hoping this is right, because if so, this would be really cool. Now, this is not one of those things that we've been doing wrong our whole life, because honestly, who combines Coke and milk? I mean, Ironically, I'm not a soda drinker. I haven't had soda in, I'd say, over like seven years now. But when I was younger, I actually made a New Year's resolution um, to cut out soda from my diet. 
and I've cut it out ever since. Took some coke out. They want to make sure that we have room for the milk. And what's funny is I don't even drink milk anymore either. But here I am with both of them in my home for the video, you know? Now, what scares me about coke is I've heard if you put it in your toilet bowl, let it sit, it actually cleans your toilet bowl. But let's just see what happens and hopefully, you know, hope for the best, not the worst. All right, so we're going to put it in here. Oh, this is one of those moments where you wish you had a funnel that you keep saying you're gonna buy but you never buy? Me! Wait, whoa, 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 hey, don't don't get all bubbly on me, don't get all bubbly on me, dog. Chill out, chill out. We're gonna put some more, we're gonna put some more. I don't know how much we're supposed to put. I'm just gonna fill it up! Oh, no, 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 no! Ah, I didn't wanna make a mess today. All right, we're just gonna close the lid. Well, is it out? Is it, like, is it done? Do we shake it up? I don't know, but it's getting everywhere. All right. All right, let's see if this works, y'all. This, I don't how, are we supposed to put more Coke than milk or milk than Coke? Right now, it just looks like one solid substance of something no one really would ever want to drink. I would hope so. All right, so seeing from what we've tested so far, it doesn't really seem that pasteurized milk and um, Coke really has an effect. Now, I feel like, if anything, I wonder if we could drink it. Like, will it like taste that? <gasps> okay, that's a no for me. Next experiment. So for our next experiment, we're gonna be opening up these bananas a whole different way than apparently we've been opening them up the entire time. Now, I typically open my banana up from the very stem, I peel it back, and so and so. Sometimes, I can't lie, when you open them, they happen to like not peel right, or this part ends up breaking, and then you gotta like awkwardly cut it in half because you didn't want to get messy, but now you're messy. But the other way that we're supposed to be doing it is we're supposed to pretty much bend the banana and pinch down here, and then hopefully, I think it's supposed to crack. Let's see. Oh, wait. Okay, okay. I got a little something. I got a little something. Oh, wait. That was actually a lot faster than how I usually do it. Did we just? Did we just find a new way to open up bananas too? Wait, let's do it again just to confirm that what we just figured out is actually true. Okay. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, oh. Maybe I like bent too hard on the wrong side and I wasn't pushing, but I could have sworn I was pushing. Well, I mean, if you like your banana open this way, this is a way you can open it. Yum. Just gonna put this over here. But all right guys, that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you guys for tuning into this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know down in the comments down below which one you think that you're gonna try. And if you do try it, come back to me. Let me know how it went for you. Now don't forget to leave this video a thumbs up and subscribe right there if you're not subscribed. But don't forget to stay humble, stay tuned, and I'll see you in my next YouTube video.